upset right now and I don't know what to do because I'm so tired of this shit. I was literally just in Walmart. I'm driving home right now and I'm so sad. I, I just don't even know. I can't even just tell you guys what happened. I was literally taking my content, recording a harmless video. I wasn't bothering anybody. Nobody was harmed in the making of the video and nobody was bothered at all. And I walked by this girl, I had my skirt, I have video evidence of this. I had my skirt a little bit tucked in more than normal and she literally pulled my skirt down. She had the audacity. I'm just trying to make my money and make a living. Like you guys don't even know the half of it. And you have is this real or is this like a skit first off young lady you're in a public place with a wedgie on purpose that wedgie is meant to be sexual content let's keep it 100 whatever content you're making with that wedgie is sexual you're in walmart it's kids walking around in walmart so i feel her on that i really feel her on that hey it's kids walking around here why are you making videos like this at the same time i do feel as though she should have respected your personal space regardless of how Positive your intentions is you just can't go around plucking everybody's wedgie. In order to prepare these tarantula, what we're going to do is take a propane torch to remove these urticating hairs. Remove the fang, and then we're going to put it in a delicious tempura batter, get it nice and crispy, and it will be delicious. One of the greatest joys I have in eating insects or arthropods are with these tempura fried tarantulas. Hmm. So always think that just because a girl dress revealing that that means she's easy or that she's a hoe. I dress revealing because I'm obsessed with my body and because I go to the gym and I work hard for my body. That's why. Ain't nobody thinking about your ass. If anything, I want your sister. I want your girlfriend. I'm not thinking about y'all. Like, why y'all be treating us like this? Why y'all be talking about us like this? Talking to us like this? You out here advertising. What you think gonna happen if you advertising? You think gonna be trying to buy? You advertising the yams? Well, shit. What's up? I'm trying to go grocery shopping. You've, oh, that don't sound right. That sound like eating, eating groceries and shit like that. That's not what I meant. I don't get it, son. That's like me saying, I'm gonna walk around these streets making sure that the print is visible because I'm obsessed with my print. Half the time, I'm not looking down at my print. It's so the young ladies can see that I got that thing on me. Does that have anything to do with me? Or does that have anything to do with me trying to make sure you see what I got going on? Does that make sense? You advertising so people can see what you got going on. And then you gonna hit us with the double whammy that you don't even like. You don't even like. You a Hoover vacuum cleaner. Any type of negative publicity that y'all can give us, y'all gonna do it. I've been on Instagram, I'm seeing studs uh, get you a stud that can do both. So today she a stud, then the next day you dressing in poom poom shorts, showing poom poom print with your hair down, dressing and advertising in ways that men is gonna gravitate to you. But then when they in your comment section or they in your DMs, you screenshotting those and saying, oh, I'm not even interested in men, y'all can stop. Y'all can stop. So why are you doing that? Why are you teasing us? If you want to cross the street, stay across the street. Don't stand at the crosswalk acting like you finna come over here. If hey, only bro. there was a page for the... This ain't something take you want to do, fam. This, this ain't something you want to do. I promise you this ain't something you want to do. This ain't something... Because this ain't something you want to do. Hey, this ain't something you want to do, my... This ain't something you want to do. I pro I'm telling you right now, go about your day. Go about your day. Go, go about your day. I promise strap? you, go about your day, cuz. Was that the strap? God damn, bro. You must really forget. Oh. I am a professional heavyweight boxer. Hey, hold on, bro. I follow this man on YouTube. Damn, he usually calm as hell. I ain't never seen him this. This riled up. I will body this, bro. Don't fucking play with me, bro. Up here pumping on his brakes. About to hit my guy. I got my daughter with me, cuz. I will body this this morning, bro. 
And that's on God. Listen, I just dropped my daughter off. Don't ever do what I just did unless okay. two things are certain. Okay. One, okay. you can fight your ass off. Okay. And two, you always got it on you. Keep in mind, I said and. Not or. All right, my boy, let me give you a word of advice. As somebody who has been in situations similar to this and somebody who has had to defend myself. In a situation like that, bro, where you have your daughter in the car, even if you got it on you, even if you can't defend yourself with them hands, it's better to just let him have it, dog. When when I say let him have it, I wouldn't even follow him off that exit. He finna get off on that exit, I would've just went on the highway and took the exit down the street. Now. I've seen you fight. I know you can handle yourself. That's one. Two, I've seen your videos. So I know this is not a true representation of who you are. But in a situation like that, even if you have the upper hand, it's better to make sure your daughter is safe. And anybody, even if it's your girl, even if you, if it's your homeboy, it's better to avoid the situation than put them in danger. Because you might have it on you. Y'all might start firing. He might have it on him too. A bullet might miss you. Hit your daughter. I bullet my miss you. Hit your friend. Hit your girl. So whenever you're in situations like that, if it's avoidable, please avoid it. What she do to her face? Shallow question. How many of y'all still clapping them cheeks? How many of y'all still clapping them cheeks? Now, she, I think she like she put some type of wax something on her face as far as you know to to get herself right. You know what I'm saying? It might be some type of skin regimen that she's taking part in right now. But you know, let's say that was her face. How many of y'all taking it down? You feel what I'm saying? And it's a lot of y'all in here that's going to cap. Don't come in my comment section capping. Because we all have four or five of her on our list. Okay? On your climb to the top. You took down some things. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. So I was just at the Walmart. And when I got back in the car, I saw this. Hold on, bro. Two videos back to back about Walmart activities. And y'all wonder why... I say Walmart is where all the hood shit go down. So now this mysterious air tag is telling me to bring my iPhone near it to locate it, but I can't seem to find it. So what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to call the police? Yeah. This is just really weird and scary and out of control. You gotta call for those of y'all who don't know what's going on, basically somebody placed an air tag on her car and they're tracking her location. And shout out to iPhone. I really give iPhones credit. Because it's Team Android over here, you know what I'm saying? It's Team Android. But shout out to the iPhone for actually locating and warning her that an unidentified AirTag is following her around. Shout out to Apple for that. Now, that's something I wonder if Android have built in. If something like this happens to you, the first thing you need to do is call the police. In her situation, bro, attractive young woman, they might be trying to traffic you, baby girl. They trying to get you. They trying to ship you out to one of them foreign countries. That's something I've been worrying about, too. Somebody might see my car. And they might want to come get it later. Put a tag on that shit. Come back and get it. That's how they be stealing some of these cars in Atlanta. You got you a Hellcat. You got you a Scat Pack. They're going to put that tag on it. They're going to come back and get it later. Understand that just because a man shows lack of affection doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. You gotta understand, you can't walk away from a relationship or walk away from a good man because he's not showing you all this, all these emotions or all this affection. You gotta understand that that's a part of a woman's nature, to be affectionate, to, to say I love you every day, to remind them to be soft. That's what us women are there for. Men are to provide and to protect. A man being affectionate and being up under you all day, every day, it's just not a part of a man's nature. 
they're they're made to go work to provide and to come home and bring to the woman so that the woman can multiply whatever a man do and brings back to his wife she multiplies boy it's the same young lady that's talking about she need a man she have the understanding of what it is to keep a man happy why don't you have a man yet baby girl it's a lot of out here that to kill for you Seriously, the act of what she's saying, right? I never believe that you should be up under a female. And the reason I say that is because smothering is a thing. I've heard chicks say, yo, he just don't let me breathe. I've heard of niggas being too romantic. The crazy thing, and I've noticed this in my relationship too, I'm not gonna lie. Your chick will ask for you to be soft. Your chick will ask for you to pay all this attention to her. Your chick will ask for you to be Romeo. 24-7, be Romeo. Oh, when you do what she wants, now she start complaining about you smothering her. He's not... His job is not to wake up. He ain't gonna have time to give you five and six hugs a day. He ain't gonna have time for that because he's gonna be too busy trying to work and provide a man to in the house that he provided and made a home for you. Mm. So, Preach. yes, a man is not gonna be affectionate every single day. There's no reason to leave a good working man. And that's a lot of the times a good woman will fumble a man over the dumbest things in the world, like lack of emotion or lack of affection. Preach. He's not telling me he loved me every single day. Preach. But them lights was on every day. Mm. You ate. You went shopping every now and then. That sound like a scat. When y'all made love, it was intimate. Mm hmm You felt his love when y'all made love, didn't you? Mm hmm That's not enough. You just these y'all just these women just want these men to just fall at their feet. Mm. That's not what these men is made for. They be saying they want that, but when they had that, bro, it becomes a problem. Now she interested in it that don't show her that much attention and is rude as hell. I'm telling you, being the good guy all the time, it doesn't work. Think about it now. And ladies, let me ask you a question. Do you want a man that's going to make love to you every time y'all have intimate moments? Or sometimes, sometimes do you want that to choke you and treat you like a nasty shit? Is that cashews? Are those roasted already or are those raw? When I was growing up, that was something that my grandmother did. We had a cashew tree in front of the house. The crazy thing is, bro, a lot of people don't know about the fruit that's attached to the cashew. The fruit that's attached to the cashew tastes great. It is delicious. I ain't gonna lie, we had centipedes and stuff like that. That was the centipedes and the millipedes favorite thing to eat. So sometimes you might bite into that and a, a millipede might be in there curled up. Okay, that's something you have to worry about. But how we used to roast cashews, we used to pick them off the fruit, put them in a batch, and then we used to throw them in the fire. And then after it was done, she would pick them out and she used to crack them. But she didn't used to crack them like that. I go to Whole Foods and I get a lot of cashews. I might get raw cashews. I might get roasted cashews. But I've always wondered how other people roasted cashews. Like, did they do it the way my grandmother did it? Or is there another way? Like, I'm trying to figure out if he's breaking those down and he's about to roast the actual nut instead of the... The show. I have just come to the point to realize that people are not going to include me. No matter how nice I am, no matter how good of a friend I am, no matter how much I support people, no matter how much I love people with all my heart, people do not think about me. People do not care to invite me. People do not want me around them. And for the life of me, I can't understand why. So I'm going to stay, take a step back from people and from the world to figure it out. Because no matter how hard I try to be there for people, they're always going to not try hard for me. And no, I did not have to make this video. No, I did not have to announce that I was taking a break. But I wanted to. And I felt like it. And I needed to express myself. Sometimes it's really hard for me to express my emotions. But when I do, I have to or it's going to bother me. And I'd rather me not be bothered than to bother y'all. So, um... I have just come to the um this young lady has single-handedly 
described how I've been feeling my whole life. Holy shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, snap. 